Lost, Found and Told is a short series of seven stories set in Northumberland. They are stories of loss and finding, of courage, the false and the true kinds, of love and kindness in unexpected places, and of the strength and resilience of Northumberlanders. They are not true, and yet they are all true, as stories with magic always are. I'm Chinsia Hardy. I am the founder and outgoing artistic director of November Club. I'm also the director of Lost, Found and Told, New Audio Tales for Northumberland. We made Jane B, the person who introduced the stories, but also who, she was the voice of Northumberland and she kind of, um, um, her role as the voice of Northumberland was to say, oh, that was a bit scary, are you really terrified? Don't worry, we're going to sort it out. Just be patient. I'm going to tell you a story, so you just sit back and listen to the story. It felt right to to make Northumberland a person, and um, and so that's that's what the song does. So the voice of Northumberland weaves those, and she is your friendly guide. She is the one who says to you, I'm going to take you on this journey around the county, around Northumberland, and at the end of it, we will all... We will all together know the story of Northumberland, but also the story of Northumberland continues. So she kind of hands it back to you. And we go on with we, we go on with this story. It's your story. Wherever I went and recorded in Northumberland, there was always some water present. It is quite a a through line almost in the soundscape that sort of connects all these um, different soundscapes together. I think. Landscape is usually pretty important in fairy tales. I mean, there are certain sort of tropes, dark forests that are scary, um, moors, winds, all those things. But Northumberland is so blessed with fabulous landscape that it gives it gives a writer quite a lot of freedom to to do coastal stuff, to do border things, to do um, crags and so forth. Northumberland is one of those rare places left in the UK where you can see the stars. You can go out onto the moors, you can go up to Kielder Forest, and you can really see that dark sky. Um, that's a characteristic of Northumberland. So we brought that into our story. The field recording was the, the starting point, but then we created um, some specific magical sounds. You can't get everything you want in. There is so much more to say, but I hope it makes people look at Northumberland and appreciate its it's, it's variety, which is amazing. It's a young person's um, observations of Northumberland, um, but also a very current world that we're in at the moment. They will have adventures. Bad things will happen. You will be frightened. You will snuggle up into your chair and pull your blanket up. But it will be OK, because that's the deal. We'll work it out. Things will change. There will be magic. There will be all kinds of stuff going on. Things will change, it'll be okay. And, and I know you have, I haven't, and I don't know if the two of you have had a chance, but I've only heard them sitting down, you know, or cuddled up on my settee at home. I haven't walked out into the landscape to hear them. Have you, Katie? Have you I haven't, but, uh, but you've sold it to me, so I'm definitely <laughs> going to do that. You can get the uh, audio tales and a memory stick now as well. 